Hi everyone, I'm Chris Kerr reporting from Evans Diamond for Cal TV. Today, the California baseball team, currently ranked 7th in the Baseball America Top 25 poll, will be taking on Oregon State University, fellow Pac-10 foe, and two-time defending national champions. In the first game, played on Friday, the Bears defeated the Beavers 5-2 behind eight solid innings from ace right-hander Tyson Ross. Ross, named Pac-10 Pitcher of the Week last week, was helped offensively by Brett Jackson, who went 2 for 4 with two RBIs. Heading into Saturday's contest, Cal has won five of their last six matchups. Now, let's find out about today's game and look at the highlights. We'll start with first inning action. Ryan Ortiz hits a single to left field, and Chris Hopkins scores. That's one of two runs for Hopkins on the day, the only RBI for Ortiz. Going to the second inning, Michael Brady up with the bases loaded, and he hits the ball to left field. That'll be a triple. It'll unload the bases and score three runs for Cal, putting the Bears up three to one. And Brady was two for four in the day with four RBIs. Moving to the top half of the third inning, Jason Ogata at the plate swings, and with the bases loaded, hits a double, scoring two runs, tying the game at three. That would be as close as the Beavers would get on the day. John Wallace now at the plate swings and hits the ball to third base. Joey Wong coming home gets thrown out. Craig Benningson, the starting pitcher for the Bears, wouldn't last much longer as Kevin Miller comes in to pitch in the third inning. Now David Cooper up at the plate at the bottom of the third swings and hits the ball out of the park for a two-run home run. His only hit of the day, his only two RBIs of the day, put the Bears up 5-3. Moving to the fourth inning now, Kevin Miller on the mound. He strikes out John Tomasini here, one of seven strikeouts on the day. Miller would get the win in today's ballgame. Jumping ahead to the eighth inning now, Charlie Cutler at the plate will hit that ball into the outfield, and he'll get a double out of that sliding safely into second. Two for four on the day with three runs scored. Charlie Cutler now on second, and Brett Jackson up at the plate hits that ball into the outfield for a single, scoring Charlie Cutler from second, and that would be the ninth run of the day on the Bears. They would win 9-3. The Bears celebrate their second victory in as many days against Oregon State. They would have 13 hits on the day, and Oregon State had five. I cut up with winning pitcher Kevin Miller after the game, and he talked about his long lead in the Bears. Uh, it's, I mean, all through my high school career, uh, I was a starter. So most of the year I've been a reliever, but um, I mean, it was actually nice. I enjoyed going a long amount. Um, Especially when the, when the pressure's on, I mean, I mean that's big, it makes baseball fun. And so, you know, coming in and being able to pick up a teammate and then, you know, finishing out the game, it's just, it was just, it was just fun. So the Bears continue their success today as they defeat Oregon State here at Evans Diamond 9-3. The Bears move to 21-6-1 on the season and 4-1 in the Pac-10, while Oregon State falls to 14-10 overall and 2-3 and in the Pac-10. The Bears offensively got contributions from David Cooper who had a two-run home run and on the mound from Kevin Miller who had seven and two-thirds innings pitched with seven strikeouts. Jason Ogata, the designated hitter for Oregon State, went two for four with two RBIs. The next series for Cal will be next weekend against the University of Southern California in Los Angeles. Reporting for Cal TV Sports, I'm Chris Carr.